I'm a broken home, I gave you all the bricks that I own and know I'm letting go, I'm breaking these walls down, breaking these walls down If you want adventure, then fly to home But if you wanna travel, then go alone Yeah, what's the point in us if I never know? Yeah, if you're gonna leave, I'ma let you go and welcome back to my channel i'm vlogging this weekend and i bet you're wondering what i have to vlog about well guess what you guys guess what my mom my brother and i are going to alien con alien con have you ever heard of it i probably doubt it so never been to one of these things never been to a convention in general right so we watched this show called ancient aliens mostly my mom watches it i do occasionally and one day we were watching it they advertised alien con in baltimore i live in maryland so i'm like only like an hour and a half away and i was like mom we should go and i was kind of just kidding because i didn't know what they'd had there and i still have my teeth but my mom got us three tickets so we're going to alien con today um we're basically gonna drive there and then yeah, and then we're, we have a hotel and stuff, so and it's by the Inner Harbor, which is, like, a really nice, like, shopping place. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see if it's fun or not. I'll show you my outfit. So I just put on a beanie, because with this wig, I have to wear a hat because it's not a lace front. It doesn't look natural. So I have a beanie on, a gray hat, conspiracy theory hoodie. Yeah, I am ready. A conspiracy theory hoodie that, um, that Shane Dawson sells on Amazon. Um, these purplish mauve American Eagle jeans. And then my Vans. My checkered Vans. And that's everything. I gotta finish packing it so we can leave. Where are we going? Alien Con. Ooh, ooh. Do you like my outfit? Do you think I look cute? I do. Oh yeah. You do you think I look like an alien? <clears throat> Well, no, because you're pretty aliens to him, not One time, one time a guy told me that I remind him of an alien. Yeah. And he, like, meant it as a compliment somehow, and he started calling me alien all the time. And I was like, boy, bye. That's mean. Him? No, but, like, I was talking to him. Okay. And then that made me yeah, kind of uncomfortable. I hope I have everything. He's low-key calling me ugly. We even have badges because we're official. This is all I need, right? I mean, what? I hope I wouldn't have to print out tickets. Or look at mom. You look so girly. I do? Yeah. Oh, do I look cute? Ew, you're wearing those shoes. You could at least wear, like, boots. I can't do that, though. My feet will get uncomfortable. I don't have any boots that... Mom, that doesn't match. Why would you wear tennis shoes with that? <laughs> well, what mom, should I wear? You don't have flats or something? Should I wear my white ones? That wouldn't match either. Wear whatever you want, but I'm judging. I have my black um, croc flats. You know, my flats that I wear to work, but I still don't think okay, they're as comfortable Go as ahead, these. put your tennis shoes on. William, William do you want to be on the vlog? Yes. William, does, William no. doesn't want to be on the vlog. William, do these shoes look stupid with, no. these, with that outfit? Yeah. Suck up. We're at Alien Con and I forgot to my vlog the whole journey here. My hair is windblown. Kaylee did good getting here. My lipstick's coming off. There's William behind us. William's behind us. And we were getting a Starbucks with the line so long and we're trying to find this room for our first, what is it called even? Talk? Our first TED Talk. What is it called? What? Like what we're going to. The Mercury room? No. Nope. Is it like, Oh, it's uh, um, growing up with UFOs. Yeah, but it, I don't, whatever, it's like a talk room. I don't know what they're called. I don't know. I don't do conventions. But yeah. It's pretty lit so far. Okay, Nobody's we'll dressed up a, as aliens. We take a, oh, we could all probably take a picture. Can we take a three person selfie or something? For what? For why? In front of the alien con. I guess. News. Uh, this is a conversation. Uh, what it was like to grow up with a front seat to UFO history. 
For 20 years, Paul's dad, astrophysicist J. Allen Hynek, worked for the U.S. Air Force in Project Blue Book, investigating the greatest mystery of our time, UFOs. After that, his father would create the J. Allen Hynek Center yourself. for UFO Studies, or CUFOs. For 40 years, there wasn't a UFO case or a UFO researcher that Paul's dad didn't know, a contactee that Allen Hynek didn't speak to, or a powerful military or political figure that his dad didn't communicate with on this subject. Today, ufologists like Jacques Vallée are rightfully considered giants in ufology. Well, in the 1960s, Jacques Vallée was a young scientist working with his mentor in ufology, J. Allen Hynek. Paul Hynek was around when a little director named Steven Spielberg called his dad and wanted to adapt J. Allen's book, The UFO Experience, into the hit feature film, Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Our guest, Paul Hynek, is accomplished in his own right. Paul Hynek is a Wharton MBA and a professor at Pepperdine University. Did you like that panel? I did. I, did. I really did. I was bored. Aww. <laughs> no, I thought it was somewhat interesting. I, didn't, I was bored because I'd never heard of him before. I kind of thought you would because I, I kind of thought you would find it interesting because it was like um, a scientific point of view. And it was a scientist. Well, I, just I, was I was bored. Was I was explaining like, how his father was originally you know, I guess in the Air Force and business group trying to disprove it. That's a follower. No, his father was not in the Air Force. He was recruited by the Air Force to oh, be yeah, a scientist. Yeah, yeah. Wow. A lot of people are interested in this one. We're at the second panel. Um, UFO, government UFO secrecy and insider's perspective. Because Nick Pope worked for the government. William, get in on this. Hopefully this one will be interesting. The last one I didn't like. They left me, you guys. They left me. Just finished panel two. Mom and William tried to leave me to see somebody else, but they couldn't get in. It was so good. It was the first good panel that I went to. It was really good. Got in, y'all, to the big boy. The big stage. <laughs> this is the one William and I were waiting for earlier. Get William to yeah, get in. Yeah. Come back to me. You want to put this in your bag too? You can. We're at the last panel. This panel is not very well lit, is it, Mom? So he like they don't. They're not allowed. What are you doing? <laughs> you asking a question? Yeah, I said this panel isn't very well lit, is it, Mom? Is it I like it like Oh, that? no, it's darker. It's yeah. easier on it's my eyes. It's creepy. Last panel, and then we go into the hotel. Ever, ever go to the Bermuda We just went to a Bermuda, Bermuda, Bermuda Triangle panel, and it was really good. Loved it. The guy is so funny. Really good. Yeah, he's really funny. Yeah, they, were, they turned out to be really good. Nick Pope and that Nick guy. Nick Pope? Kaylee's just hogging herself. Oh, wow. <laughs> just saying. I thought this was my vlog. Oh. Oh, I thought we were all doing it. You can all be on it, but geez. You need to be the... Did you like that real a lot? Oh. William didn't know about the... Um, Bermuda Triangle. Bermuda Triangle, so now he gets to know it's about it. It's fascinating stuff. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm shiny. Sounds like if you... Uh, Miami. Yeah, it sounds like stay out of, don't fly out of Miami. When we go to Aunt Lori's, we're going to. Um, when go are we going to, to Aunt the Lori's? <laughs> Sometime soon. Well, I'm going to use the restroom too, William. Okay, I guess I'll let you guys go then. Um, and I wanted to go swimming, but I don't know now. We might disappear. Oh my God, it'll be fine. Just don't go to Miami. Oh, I just. He said anywhere on the coast of Florida. And we have it's to in, here. No, it's not anywhere on the coast of Florida. Here, hold this thing. Give you guys a room tour. So, obviously, you come in the door here. The bathroom is right here. How cool is that light switch? Pretty cute bathroom. Standard hill tent. I don't want it. It's, it's, it's cost money either way. One bed, two bed, a big ass TV for Hallmark Christmas movies. 
Another oh, mirror. No. Let's see what the view looks like. Oh, because we're on the fifth floor. There's nothing to look at. Oh, the view's over this way. No. Oh, look. You should come look at this side, though. Like, the sun is going down. The moon's out. It looks really pretty. Okay. I took my lipstick off because it was looking really busted. But, Mom, what was your favorite panel? It was Bermuda Triangle. The Bermuda Triangle, the last panel. William, mm -hmm. what was your favorite panel? Um, either the, I like the Bermuda one and water, the yeah. first one, like equally. The first one was, what was the first one called? <laughs> Our memory is so shit. Oh, no, that no, wasn't that was the government one. It was the um, growing up oh, with growing UFOs. Up being, with UFOs. Yeah. Which yeah. I did not like that one. It was like my it. least favorite one, I think. My favorite one was the government conspiracy one. Good co government covering up Nick one. Pope. I love me some Nick Pope. He's British. I love a good accent. Um, but yeah, that one was really. But also, I think that one was really, really interesting. And then my other favorite it was, was the. What? It was interesting. Oh. And my other favorite was the Bermuda Triangle yeah. one. Those, were, those two were the only ones I really liked, actually, if we're being honest. Oh, you didn't like the experiencer one? I didn't like that one that much because I thought, like, I don't like hearing other people come up and tell their stories because it's like... Although that one guy was so fucking funny. There was one guy that told an alien story and he was really funny. Which he was he like, I don't have time to be abducted. I got work in the morning. I can't get fired. This is my one. He was funny. But I just don't like having people come up and tell their stories. It's like not... I don't like it. I'm not a fan. I just wanted to hear Nick Pope talk. But How yeah. am I supposed to reach for water in the morning or at the middle of the night? Put it by your bed, bottom. On the floor. Yes. Or you can cuddle with it. <laughs> yeah, and now we're going to have to, we're going to go to the hotel we're restaurant. Have some din din. Some din din. Some din 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 din. And then maybe we'll go to the pool. I don't know what time it closes. Oh. There's an indoor pool. Does it, does it close? They usually close at a certain time, probably like 8. I'm not going to go. We might go to the pool, and we're definitely going to watch Hallmark. Oh, man, the new Hallmark movie comes on at 8. Every Saturday and Sunday, they have a brand new Hallmark movie. I'm wondering if we're really going to It comes on at 8. You don't have to. And Leanne Rimes is in it. So, you have a key? You don't have a key. Okay. I was going to say, I'm just joking. I did that same joke when we were in Arizona. Oh, you did? You guys, I went to Arizona. I'm going to do a story time. Let me show you guys what I'm getting. Yeah. What's his name? A Anthony. Hey vlog. Went to the pool with my brother. Didn't vlog it. Why it didn't did bring. It? I didn't even bring my phone. Um, my skin looks disgusting. I apologize. No, I don't. You didn't even see it, mom. I can see you. Oh. How comfy is this bed? It's very. It's, it's pretty, pretty nice. comfy. Pretty comfy. We're gonna get dessert, and I'll show you that. And we're gonna find something to watch. This hotel doesn't have Hallmark, oh, no. which is really upsetting because I want to watch Hallmark. <laughs> bye vlog. Bye vlog. Bye vlog. Bye bye. Bye vlog. William. Picture is really nice. Wave in the mirror. See William back there? Oh, I thought you told me to. No, William. William, wave. Oh, no. William is back there. He says goodbye.